This is the Apple CRT 17 inch studio display. It was released by Apple in 1998. The worst part about it is that it has the worst flyback in any Apple product ever made. Like, as we can see, when we plug it in, it's going to spark. I don't know if you can hear this, but you want to hear it once we turn it on. But the main question is how well does it work in 2023? As you can see, the only cord that it takes is VGA. And this one that I have is missing one pin. So let's hope that it'll still connect. And what I have is a VGA to HDMI cord. So let's hope that it works. So first, with any VGA, you have to plug it in. And what I like to do is you don't have to do this, but screw it in so it stays in place. And now we're just gonna try and plug it in into my computer. Oh, oh my gosh, it actually does. Look at this. And my camera can't really keep up with the frame rate of the CRT, but oh my gosh. We've got Windows 11 working on the Apple CRT. I'm curious though if this runs a lot of games on it too because it is just a display monitor but I wonder how games look on it too. Something from 1998 if it can run modern games at 75 frames pretty good. As you can tell YouTube is running perfectly by watching a DK Oldies video. Wow. Look at how good that runs. In perfect 480p you can watch your favorite YouTuber. One of the first games we're gonna try is Bloons TD6. And as you can see by it not focusing because the amount of stripes that it has going on, it actually runs really good. Looking at the title screen, you can see most of the colors perfectly. And when we have a lot going on, as you can totally see by this, a lot is going on on screen and it's actually doing really good. The flyback isn't glitching a bunch. It's actually being able to keep up with everything without lagging or doing anything horrible. In case you wanted to see it normally. Of course, I gotta try everyone's favorite game on this, Fortnite. I actually have decent hopes for this game, especially because I think the amount of colors that comes on on this too is definitely gonna make the flyback just absolutely shriek. And I'm definitely not the first person to ever play Fortnite on a CRT monitor from 1998, but let's see how far we can even get in the game because I haven't played in forever. And I also wish there was a way for me to fix the, the effect of the monitor because I don't want the video to just be ruined by the entire monitor freaking out on my camera. We're actually getting 125. Of course, this is only a 75 hertz monitor, but. But the colors look good, like in person. I don't know on the camera if it's gonna show up all the way, but everything actually looks really good. Flyback's not going crazy because of all the colors that's being displayed. Again, this is beautiful. Like if we open up the entire map and look at it, my rendering distance is really high too. And I'm glad that, oh, Oh, it's freezing. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> it's actually, oh, it's lagging now. It's actually lagging. Let's see if we can get a kill. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we died. <laughs> oh no. So that's Fortnite on the CRT monitor. Let's see if we can get any other games on here. Did the thing, we got Tetris. Let's see. It can even play Tetris without freaking out, even though as soon as I was trying to load it in, it kind of freaked out. Terrible Tetris. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it works. So a lot of the stuff, thankfully, like it's not too bad, the flyback on it. For the listing saying it was really broken, it's actually performing really well. So all in all, my experience with the CRT is even though right now you can see it's kind of struggling, I actually really like it. The CRT has definitely over the last 25 years been really bad, but it's also really good at displaying HDMI. As you can see, it's in very good condition for something 25 years later. One thing that does bother me is there is a very 
tiny crack on the screen. I don't know how I got that, but when I bought it, the guy didn't say it was, it was a crack or anything. He said it worked. So that's fine with me. But again, for something 25 years old, this is kept up very well and actually is worth the money I paid for it. So thank you guys for watching and hope you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.